Hello, Shadowcat back with more Rim of Time. And last time we were here, we finished up moving the last two of our build... Well, okay, not the last two of our buildings, but two more buildings on the western approach. So we got the prison moved and we got the rec room moved. And not just moved, but improved. It's now much bigger and a lot prettier and very pink. So I... The colors are random. I admit, I, I used dice to figure out the colors, so we got pink and green. Is it the best color combination? It's okay. It's just okay. We got bathrooms in here, too, now with full plumbing. Uh, the bath is cold, but uh, they'll deal with it. And this is more or less done. So it's time for us to get moved on. There's only one thing left for us to move over here, and that is the greenhouses. And it occurred to me that we don't actually have to remove both of these things. We can let them kind of bulge out into this pathway. And it won't really affect anything. So we don't actually have to remove this. We can just let this stick out here. This will stick out here. There'll be a passageway that comes through. And, you know, it's the imperfections that give things a unique life. And so these imperfections will help give this life. And that means that we'll be able to keep two of our farms. And we decided to move this. And that's actually interesting because this is food. Obviously. And thus, we want to keep this close to the kitchen. That way we don't have to carry it quite as far. But this up here is heel root and cotton. And if we were to come up here. We could take these and say, you know what, this one, I know you guys have already started planting. I didn't tell you to plant yet. But that, we can turn that into heel root. And this one, this one can be cotton. And this one, I don't know, actually. So, you know what, let's go ahead and just, um... Ooh, you know what? You know what we could do. There is something in here that actually gives a lot of food. Where is it? Celery. Celery gives a lot of food. Oh, and this isn't even ready yet, so don't actually start, you know, doing this yet. We still gotta put a roof on this place. Well, I guess we don't actually don't have to put a roof on it yet. I mean, we are going into summer, but we'll get a roof put on here eventually. So, we'll get a little bit of food production over here. Celery takes a really, really long time to grow, but it is the highest yield of anything in the game. At least using vanilla expanded. So, that'll be good. Um, up here, this is fine the way it is, but yeah, we're going to get this, um, get this prepared. That we don't have to really worry about for the rest of summer, though. So, our big goal today is to just remove this building, get these walls built, and open up this entrance, and also prepare this the same way this has been prepared. So yeah, that, that's the goal. That's what we're doing today. So for this to get done, this can be deleted, this can be deleted. We no longer need those. And then we're going to need to remove the roof, and this lamp can go away. So all of that can go away like that. Should not take that long. I also got some more solar panels built. So that will help us up here. <clears throat> Sorry. Had, I, I, I sneezed. That, that shouldn't have happened. But I did. Um, I don't know if this is going to be enough power. It's a lot of power. Trust me, we're sitting at like a uh, 27,000 watts of power during the daytime. Is it going to be enough to run these? I don't know. I mean, it should. I mean, it does say that it, that's the excess. So we should have no problem running those. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this roofed over. 
And actually, no. First, let's get it wired in. First, let's get it wired in. So, up, over, up, over. There we go. What now? Toxic fallout for pay. Um, we'll look at that in a minute. But we need to get our tie-ins to the grid. There we go. Alright, what is this? Oh, research finished! Flak armor! <gasps> Very good! Okay, so craft clothing with metal armor sewn to resist bolts and explosions. Weighty armor does slow down movement slightly. But you know what? That means that we've got flak armor that we can use. Maybe, I think. Do we? Um, probably not, actually. However, uh, flak armor. That's actually made down here. Yeah, okay, so we can now make flak helmets and vests and pants and jackets. Now, here's the thing. Flak jackets are good, but... Oh, wait, a predicted plague? <gasps> no, 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 no. Anna, Anna, I need you to avoid that, okay? Please avoid that. Anna is unsure if it had any effect on the plague prediction. <gasps> no! I mean... I don't know if anybody's on... Oh, no, wait. We have Panoxicylene over here. Everybody should be on Panoxicylene, right? Well, except for... Prissy? Wait. Oh, wait, you're set on no drugs just because I don't want you getting into social drugs. Okay, you know what we should have? You know what we should have? How about a new policy, okay? And we're going to call this one Medicine Only. Okay? And... The only thing that we're going to have on medicine only will be, uh, where? Where is it? Wake up, tea, luciferium. Where, where is penoxicylene? There it is. Okay. Penoxicylene every five days. Okay, and that means that you, medicine only, medicine only, same thing for you, Nelicus, um, oh, that's right, you guys are actually no drugs at all, like, you will actually get upset if I have you take penoxicylene. So if you get the plague, I can't hurt you, or I, I, I can't help you. However, Mr. Come and take some penoxicylene. And Prissy, you come over here too. Never mind, there it is. Who is it? Mr. Mr. got sick. Okay, well... Noxicylene is not going to stop it now. However, Spud can cure it. And it blocked it on Flame, Gumpy, Lissa, and Baud. So the three people who refuse to take medicine... Completely unaffected. I wonder, do we have any antibiotics? 
I don't think we do. Uh, here we go. Medicines, medicines. No. Can we make antibiotics? Also, no. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, mister. Consuming a fine meal? No, you're not. Get over here. And then I'll have Anna come and take a look at you. Yeah, ten or reserved by Pittman? Nah, -uh. nope. You will get tended to by our best doctor, and this time you will survive. We couldn't save Weirin, but you, you will live. All right. So while she's doing that, let's take a look at these things. So toxic fallout for pay. A machine, an orbiting ship, whatever that is, uh, needs our our permission. What do we get from this? A Psylink. We don't need that. A Psy Trainer. We don't need that. Silver. We don't need that either. We need nothing from here. And so there is no reason for us to do anything with that. Now, the other important thing. Mister has an, experienced an inspiration. He thinks that he can achieve the power of a bright mage. Just like Lissa. Alright, so, uh, it has to be done within two days or the inspiration will be lost, and you just happen to come down with the plague. Don't worry, I think I'll bring Spud in here to see what we can do with you. Okay, um, now that we're done over here, it's time for us to go through and clean this up. So we're going to cut these plants, these two, and once we get all this cut, we will start moving walls. And I will try to reuse as much of this as I possibly can. Like, I can actually start moving walls right now. So we put that there, put that there. I can put the door there. And then that can go there. And that can go there. And then down over here. Uh, that's going to stay, actually. This one, however, will go here. Oh, Beltine's here. Knew that was coming. Forgot about it. Okay, we're going to move as many of these as we can just to save the materials. There we go. We'll need to finish up this corner as well, but that'll wait until after everything is cut. And we will need to have a door over here. However, the pathway over here is actually five wide. So perhaps we break here. And we'll just use one of the doors that we already have. I really like the bigger doors more, but this is what we have at the moment. I don't really want to rebuild right now. And then this other door can go over here. Oh, also, things that need to be changed. Uh, fertilized area, we can remove this now. So we don't need to keep fertilizing that area. And up here is already set. Don't need to worry about that. Prediction, an ambrosia sprout. Well, that's actually fine. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, Spud, you are awake. Can I get you to come down here, though? 
you have a healing talent that we need. All right. Will you do it automatically? No, you're going to get in bed. Why are you getting in bed? Oh, you have lung rot that needs to be treated. Okay, 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 okay. But then I really need you to do this. Please. Cure the plague. Did it work? Yes! It worked! The plague has been cured! That is arguably one of the greatest abilities ever. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and finish up this corner. And we will go through and do a little bit of deconstructing. Not a whole lot to do over here. Just some, some cabling. And then the floors. Not a whole lot to take out here either. There we go. So we will take out all of those floors and over here, stuff that we want to get done. So these doors. Um, I think that we'll put one here. And we'll put these over here like that. And we'll see how that turns out. That's going to be a lot of granite as well. Alright, good. This is done. And now that that's done... We can actually go through and... Oh, we've lost power over here. Hold on. Power... Cables. Actually, no. We have power. Reconnect. Why does it say that we don't have enough power? I thought we had plenty of power. Grid excess. So, all of this is a mess, but it is connected up through here to the rest of this grid. It even comes down through here, down through all of these. It comes across the the ent or the south entrance here. Comes over to here. <gasps> no, this is completely disconnected. Okay, well hold on. Let's get this reconnected. No wonder. Yeah, it's all running off this one title generator. That is my bad. But like I said, we'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed right up. There we go. Now everything is bright. And we can actually expand this into these two as well. There we go. And for floors, we'll get some straw matting and put that down here in the corner, just to clean it up. And we can put one heater over there. And one heater over here, so we have them in the four corners. Nice even distribution. And there we go. That is ready to roll. How are we doing over here? Looking good. Now, we'll need some embrasures. It's looking a lot cleaner. Oh no, wait, these are going to turn. Well, that's dumb. Why would you do that? I 
Oh, this has to move too. There we go. I didn't have it quite right. Soup is spoiling fast due to a lack of power. Nah, our power's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, so they're getting the embrasures done. How are we doing on granite? It looks like all of our granite chunks are gone. And we're down to only 334 blocks. Which is not great. We're going to have to find more granite soon. We will get some granite back here. A Megasoth Revenge? That'll be one of the rockin'. Yep. Last time I saw this, it didn't end well, though. How's this going? Lots of bleeding wounds. However, you also have lots of bleeding wounds. I mean... Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of. I really feel like you should pick on something your own size. Spud, um, you are non-violent. Alright. I hate to do this. Squad 1, wake up. I need you out here. Particular actually need you out here with the uh, with the animal. Yeah. Okay. White. You have the ability to heal. So heal. Did that help? A little bit. Not much. Where is this thing? It's over here. Oh wait, it's down. Never mind. You're free to go. Somebody might want to go take care of that animal. Uh, reserved by Gumpy. Okay. Gumpy will take care of the animal. Good enough for me. Oh, hey! Carpet's done. Oh, no, wait. Carpet's not done. It's close, though. It's close. We'll get it done soon. And there's still room over here for us to expand once we can pick up more forms of entertainment. But this is, this is good for now. I will be honest, though, it is a little hard to look at. <laughs> It's, it's a little hard to look at. Um, I forgot to put my heaters back in here. They should be over in this building? Yes. Or at least there's one of them. One heater there. And where's the other one? Over here. One heater there. Oh, medicine. Um, do we have any medicine in overflow? I wonder. I don't think we do. Not there. Not there. No, I don't think we have any medicine in overflow. Okay. Then I don't want to, I don't want to put a shelf in that room. I want a, um, a stockpile. And it died. Of course it did. Alright, so this is going to be important. And 
We need herbal medicine over there. Did nobody tend to it at all? Oh, no, looks like somebody was in the process of tending it. I guess Gumpy just didn't get there fast enough. All right. So how many do we have left? Actually, have a fair number left. But most of them are males. Also, we need to ke or keep up on our training. There we go. Alright, so looks like we got the embrasures in. We need one more of these doors here. And then we'll have to get some barricades in place. However, before we do barricades... Let's go ahead and get walls. Now, for walls... We are actually going to go ahead and put some doors in. So I'm going to grab these big doors, because I like the big doors. And we'll go one there, and one there. And I can actually take this granite wall and move that over. And we've just got the, uh, the one there. Oh, there's still a spot over here that I missed. Alright, we'll replace that. We are going to need more granite, though. Where are we gonna get it? That's slate. And we really can't pull any more from over here. Uh, there is more granite down here. And there's more granite over here. Now, this already has some exposed mountain. So I want to be a little careful of that. That's granite too, though. And that's uranium. Good stuff. Okay, so we'll have to start pulling from over here. And I may as well put them to work on that immediately. We'll just start shaving and working our way backwards. There, and there as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll start just shaving. We'll come all the way down like this, and then we'll just up and down going through until we hit the overhead mountain. Because I don't want to expose any more overhead mountain than I have to. Although, this hasn't been a problem for us so far. So maybe it's okay. But we are almost out of granite, like, entirely. And once these inner walls are done, I will be ready to open this up. And the western entrance will be ready for business. Good. So what about up here? How are we doing up here? Did we get anything planted? I got some celery planted. Uh, still getting heel rip planted, though. I hear miners. Zakail and uh, Munoz. Are you good? You seem pretty good. Actually, you're really good at mining. So why am I not seeing any chunks? I want chunks. We need chunks. We gotta turn them into bricks. How's everything else doing? I've got Baud down here doing research. I wonder, can we get the new high tech research benches? Yeah, actually. We can get one there and one there. And that will change the game. Because these are already pretty good. Their, their work speed is 100. These will research even faster. 
The sad part is that Amara didn't get to see this because she would have loved it. But you know what? The one power can't bring people back. However, the power of science might. We'll have to wait and see. And this is looking pretty good. It's cute. A, a cougar hunting Zakyle. Where is Zakyle? Up there. Okay. Well, we are not tolerating this. We're not tolerating this. And it's dead. Thank you, everybody. Although I think you actually killed it yourself, so... <laughs> that works. Alright, we're getting some chunks. Haul those in. We need those. And you are up to mining the uranium now. So, it's time to assign more mining. Next layer. Yeah, this is kind of the boring part, but it, it it's fine. Area revealed? Oh, okay. Well, there's not really anything there. It's not really much of a reveal. We have enough people, though. I mean, this is working fine. Um, mister. Did we miss your inspiration? <gasps> we missed your inspiration, I think. Oh. That's my bad. Okay, well, sorry, you're not going to use the power of light. That's kind of unfortunate because Lissa's really good. And it would be good to have a backup for Lissa. I mean, the things that she could teach you. Um, this house is going to have to move as well. And I'm thinking that maybe we should get started on that. So, this, um, this heater can get uninstalled. And then we will begin the, the deconstruction process. So, roof. Take the roof off. Any more granite that we can bring in? Nope. I never thought that I would be this desperate for granite blocks. But we do use a lot of granite around here. We also need a lot of wood, too. We're completely out of wood, as far as I can tell. A little bit of wood left. Very little wood left. Uh, that's easy, though. We chop wood in home area. That's actually a lot of trees. It's going to continue to be a lot of trees. All right, so they are pulling the uh, the roof off. And there are people out here that are chopping trees. A bulk goods trader. That's a starship. Okay, Anna. You are the mayor. Come give them a call. You could probably use what they've got. We also still need to get a, uh, a vault made for all of our gold and silver. All right. 
And I might be able to get some granite from them too. All right, so animals, animals, don't really care about animals. Meat, don't really need the meat. We have lots of meat. Uh, things that we can sell. So they have 3,416 silver. And I still have lots of textiles to get rid of. In fact, wow, look at that. Oh, I sold them lion belts. Over a thousand of them. Oh, and a thousand tiger leather. Wow. We have so many textiles. Uh, things that we do need. We need steel. Okay, we need to have steel. Um, do you guys sell the green rocks? Because we could use those. Uh, I don't think you actually do. All right, what about stone blocks? Do you sell stone uh, stone blocks? No? No, I guess not. Um, these bed rolls. We don't need these. Not all these double bed rolls. Like, having bed rolls is good if we travel, but we don't need all these double bed rolls. They're very good. Don't get me wrong. And they sell pretty well. But we, we don't need these. So this is going to clean up a lot of our storage in a different way. Um, so that puts you almost up to your limit. What else do we want to buy? Uh, wood. Actually, we could buy some wood. And then we'll use it. Uh, we could sell some beer. Would you like some beer? Yeah. Sell some beer. Oh, you can't afford that much beer. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we can buy? Like, things that might be more useful? Not really. We have lots of plasteel. We have lots of uranium. We have jade. You're not really selling iron. You've got medicine up here. We can buy the medicine. Anything else? Oh, components. We'll buy all your components. And Neutromine. We'll take that, too. Okay. Now we can sell you some beer. Uh, not that much beer, though. What about 600 beer? Close. In fact, I think that I can run it up too far. All right, that's as far as I can go. All right, so we are going to get rid of a whole bunch of beer, but we're going to get a whole bunch of wood, components, steel. Yeah, this is going to be good. All right, send it. All right, so it all fell down here. We've got to find a better place for this stuff to land. We really do. But more importantly, if we look over here, look at how much space that just cleared out. It's looking pretty good. We actually had a solar panel over here? I could have installed that. See? That's the problem. I don't even know what I've got. I don't even know what I have. Um, they are still chopping trees. We have almost 2,000. You know what? We can stop chopping trees now. Okay? Just make sure you clean up the stumps. I don't want any stumps around. So clean up the stumps and everything should be good. Yeah, that's a lot that we just got dropped on us. It's okay, though. Looks good. How are we doing over here? Uh, you are still mining that out, but I think we're ready for another swath. There we go. That'll keep you busy. And did we get the roof pulled off of here? I think we did. Yes. Okay. Time to be or to begin deconstruction. It's a little sad to see it go, but we never actually got to use it. So there's not a whole lot to miss here. 
and then floors. We can remove those floors. There it goes. We hardly knew ye. But that's okay. I'm just waiting right now for another couple with children to come by and we'll build another house. Like another actual house just like this. There we go. That's more cloth, that's more wood, more stone. Granite blocks that we can easily put to use. And for that matter, this is all done. So all we gotta do now is ship things up here and we're good to go. So I want a big door right here. We'll move these over. We have a smaller door here. That's just going to move straight down. And we'll need the same thing over here. And we'll have to get this wall redone in granite. Just to make sure that nobody wants to, like, dig their way through here. Needs to be a deterrent. But, one thing at a time. For now, I think we can call this open for business. And also, these sandbags up here are made of cloth. We can deconstruct these. And that's just a little extra cloth that we can use. Which is good, because we need to do things like finish up here. Which we did, and now it's done. And this house is gone. It's like it was never there. Alright, let's finish redrawing this. Or, yeah, we'll, we'll redraw this stuff. All right, so maybe moving this should be next. And I think that we can actually start, yeah, I think we'll start on this. I think we'll start on this. Um, I'm not gonna redo this in granite though. I would love to redo the building in granite. However, we're running really super low on granite. And so there's only so much that I can do. So I'm going to do the rooms that I can afford to do right now. And <clears throat> we will deconstruct and work as we go. In fact, I can do it like this, because there's only two children there. So we'll do this much. This is going to be a little bit awkward to do. But we're going to make this work. Yeah, we're going to make this work just fine. Okay. Um. Then we'll need some wooden doors. Door, 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 and door. Already there. We can actually keep that door. Yeah, this is going to be a, a weird kind of Frankenstein amalgamation at first. But it's going to come around. Now, am I necessarily going to open this up immediately? No. We've got two entrances in and out of here. I'm good with that for now. And I think that over here is where we were kind of planning on putting the vault. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. Um, making the vault is going to be 
Easier said than done, though, given how precious granite is at the moment. I might have to go through some rooms like this, like this temple, and slash classroom, and replace the walls here just to recover some of the granite that we're using. I know, in the beginning, everything was made out of wood. Then we tried to make it all granite, and now we're back to this again. A pharmaceutical trader. That could be useful. Give them a call when you wake up. And also, bell time. We need this done before the 7th of Jugus. It's currently the 1st. But we will make it okay. We never got the walkway done over here. So floors, asphalt. So we'll get the floors done over there. And then sooner or later, we'll start prettying this up by laying down either lawn or astroturf just to green it up. Oh, Mister's got another inspiration. <gasps> the power of an enchanter. Do we have anyone like that right now? I think we do. Is, isn't your sister, actually? Yeah, your sister is. I mean, if you both were, that would be kind of thematic. I could get down with that. Oh, you know what I just noticed? We need doors over here. Uh, we need, actually need doors up here pretty desperately. And this actually conflicts with the barricade right there. Wild Gander Revenge? I think it's it's one of our animals trying to eat it. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. A pharmaceutical trader. They have Luciferium. Lazarus Mech Injectors. So the injector for Lazarus, it will spread out in the body and become inert. However, if the host become incapacitated, the mechanites jump into action and try to heal them. It's only possible to heal normal injuries, lost limbs, permanent injuries, scars will remain. Once the host is able to get up again, the mechanites fall back into their inert state. It is not possible to heal a dead host. If the host suffers a deadly wound, they will remain dead. Okay. Uh, they have a lot of them, though. They have healer serums. Um. We might be able to make use of these. They're not terribly expensive. I, there are other serums that we can, that we can make. I think we'll be able to make these healer serums eventually. But these... Yeah, we'll take some of these. Oh, they do get expensive, don't they? Maybe just one of these. Okay. We'll, we'll take this. And is that all we're going to take? Uh, we'll take some Panoxicillin. And... Neutromine. Oh, we can't afford all of that. Actually, that's a bad price for Neutromine. Yeah, so we're, we're not going to buy that. But this will be good. This will be good. Yep, we'll take this. Oh, and we will sell some cider. So that'll pretty much even us right out. <laughs> Perfect. Pleasure doing business. All right, now, can we copy this over here? And over here. Oh, wait, not there. So, one, two, there. Because I want our people to be able to come straight through here to get to 
the hospital, obviously. And we'll need them to come through to get to the prison. And this is done. Well, okay, it's not quite done yet. But it's almost done. We still got to wire it in. We still got to floor it. So wiring. Come around like this. And then we will need to get some flooring in here. And I'm going to do things a little bit differently, I think, this time. Because I want to make sure that I put a light in here. So the first thing that I'm going to do... Is I want to put a standing lamp here in the corner. And in the children's rooms, the lights will face the door. Yeah, much better. Oh, and of course, I forgot the bathroom. And this will be the first house, I do believe, to get modern plumbing. So that's going to be exciting. Now, as for floors, I want to have wooden floors underneath the doors. Oh, and the main entrance will go right there. And roofs. First off, I can delete this area. This is no longer needed. Oh! That's a problem, too. And something's falling out of the sky. Hold on. I didn't realize how screwed up my roofs were. All right, what's happening? Something is falling over here, and it's falling into our home. That's not good. All right, all hands on deck. We've seen this before, though. Oh, that is a lot. That is an awful lot. 28 of these mega spiders. 28 of these spleopedes. And 34 of these mega scarabs. We are going to have to use this. Okay. We're going to hold this door open and use this as a bottleneck. I mean, they're, they seem to be kind of peaceful. But at the same time, I can't have them here. The rest of you are going to stand back here. Up here, though... Will you not actually hunt these? Okay, hold on a second. What if I do this? Mega spiders, hunt them. Spleopedes, hunt them. And mega scarabs, hunt them. Now will you shoot? No, you will not. Why not? Okay. Okay, they're 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 ang they're angry now. Fall back. Uh, 
Okay. Zakat. Well, you three, or you two. Can you shoot that one? What? What? Where are they going? I don't know what's going on here. All right, that got their attention. Fall back in here. Fall back. What are you doing? I told you to go up here. Why are you still set in search and destroy? All right. Come over here. And you guys have to deal with this. Okay. We have to get rid of these things. All right, that's got them angry. The animals are going to help. Gumpy, however, you are going to hurt. Um, what is this? Wand of fire? No, unfortunately I can't have you do that. Um, I'm just going to turn you off of fire at will and send you back here. As much as I really, really want you to help, I can't have it. Um, all right. Mega Scarab Revenge. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Wooden door. Hold it open. And everybody else here, back up. Yep, I'm sure it did. Well, that didn't really work. Okay, um, you guys. I need to turn you loose. So that you will fight fires. The rest of you are going to have to help clean up. Oh, wait, I think that was the problem. I think maybe I turned him on to Search and Destroy instead of Drafted Hunt. Was that my mistake? That was my mistake. And you just fireballed Munez. Okay. Now this is going to get easier. This will get much easier now. Okay. So, one thing at a time. Here we go. Now they should come to us. We're going to go ahead and hold this door open. And we're going to fall back to here. Okay? Seven, you really should not have run out like that. Alright, very good. 
This is going to be a long process to clean up. And as a matter of fact, Sunfire. You can reach all the way out here. See how much damage you can do with this. That did it. Can we handle this? We're doing as much damage to our own animals as we are doing them. All right, move up and spread out this time. We'll form a line and drive them back. One of our elephants is downed. Time to move up. Yep, we're pissing him off. We can handle this, though. They're bizarre creatures. I don't understand them. But we can handle this. Medical emergency? Prissy! What were you doing out there? What in the hell were you doing out there? All right, we have to go. Everybody fire at will. White, where are you? I need you to heal. Okay. Still going to die in three hours. Okay, White, I need you to carry Prissy. Okay, I need you to get out of here. How far can you go? You can go this far. And you left Prissy? Ah, oh, so... I just... I don't... Why? Just why? Okay, you take the child and get out of here. The rest of you clear a path. Okay. I need you all down here. Clear a path. We've got to get Prissy over here. Yeah, I get it. Anna. 
Report to the hospital. You're going to be needed. Were you really the fastest I could do? The rest of you move up here. And Pittman is out here now. Why is it all of my children that are out here? Well, I guess Pittman's not really a child anymore. And Knurk. Okay, are there any left? Are, are there any of them left alive? Oh, yes. Many of them, in fact. And they're kind of... everywhere? They're scattered. However, they're just the small ones. I think we're going to be okay. All right, Kinnerk, where are you? You're here. Okay, good. Anna. Tent. Damn it! Everything that I did for nothing. Why? Why the hell were you out there? Everything that I've done trying to keep the children alive. Why the hell were you out there in the first place, you stupid child? Another dead animal. Dead everything. Just everything is dead. Forget bell time. We have nothing to celebrate this year. Weirin's dead. Prissy's dead. Our animals are dead. Everything is dead. We have nothing to celebrate at this point. Our cave bear is dead. What good is literally everything we've done here? If we can't even keep people alive. Our elephant is dead. There's no point to any of this if, if we can't keep our people alive. If we can't keep our children alive. Somebody come and bury Prissy already. And now we have another funeral. I'm tired of funerals. Who is under attack now? Bod is under attack. Are these things still manhunters? No, they're not. We're actually thinning them out. The first grave on this side now filled. We have 52 graves. I do not want to fill them all. funeral plan for Prissy. Yeah, here I thought that Prissy and Mister were going to be sibling enchanters. How stupid was I?
I never should have released any of them. I never should have let anybody go. Why the hell was Prissy over there in the middle of all of the bugs anyway? Oh, and these things reproduce! We have to destroy all of these things. We have to get rid of them all. Oh no. Okay. All of you need to get up here. We we have to get this done. You've had a rest. You've had something to eat. We have to destroy all of these things before they can go any further. Destroy this thing. That got their attention. Pull back. All right, we need to break these. And this one too down here. Well, don't catch on fire. We need to come up here and destroy these. Okay. Come up and destroy these. We get components from all these, too. We're actually pretty good when it comes to components. So we're, we're not in that dire a need. to destroy all of these. There's another one right there. Alright, we've beaten all of them to a pulp. Are there any left? I think we can let everyone go. All right. Well, that was rough. Rougher than it should have been. More costly than it should have been. And for all the components that we picked up, a lot of them are probably going to burn up. It's all right, though. We also have a lot of these insects, which means that we should be able to make a fair amount of kibble, actually. Because we make kibble out of bug meat. We haven't done that in a long time. So they should get brought over. They should get butchered. We should be able to do something with them. Well, actually, we don't really have a whole lot of vegetable matter left. Uh, it's not great. Pretty soon we're making simple meals out of just meat. Which is not the worst thing in the world. Alright, well, we may just skip bell time this year because I, I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it. This is awful. This should never have happened. And there's, there's probably so much that I could have done about it and didn't. The failure's on my part. Still, this sucks. Amara's gone. Combo's gone. Prissy's gone. That means the only people left from that family are Solarian and Mister. And this sucks. So much. So we'll continue rebuilding this house so that we can get Mister and Solarian moved over at least. I guess now we don't have to build this room. 
And when we get back next time, we'll work on further expansions. Like, I want to get a vault built. So the vault probably going to go over here. We need to have a vault for all of our gold and silver. Right now, we can only spend a fraction of it because we don't have it covered by these, um, these orbital trade beacons. We need to get better coverage for those. So that'll be the goal next time. And now that we've got these entrances open, uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Because the next time we get a raid, no matter where the raid comes from, uh, we should be able to handle it. Hopefully this means no more breaching our walls, but we'll have to wait and see. So fingers crossed there. Otherwise, we're liable to end up with a lot more dead people. And I'm tired of dead people. So, if you want to see it, then make sure you're back here, or make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon that we get notified to come back here to see the next episode. If you know somebody else who's either into RimWorld or the Wheel of Time, then share this video with them. Otherwise, though, if you just like me, if you take pity on me, then leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time for the Rim of Time. Until then, take care.